Hi, thanks so much for agreeing to do this interview. Um, should we get started? Will you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Sagar Mukhfukan and I'm from India. And uh, from India, I'm from Assam, that's my state. And I have a background in climate science and policy, and I'm uh, working on my PhD on uh, citizen science and environmental monitoring in India. So uh, I want to look into how citizen science can be promoted or enhanced in India and look into the barriers and challenges and opportunities that is present in India for environmental monitoring so that it can help in, you know, uh, in the SDGs, in accounting for the sustainable development goals. That's really and, interesting. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Um, so what did you study previously to get to the point where you're, you're doing your PhD? Yeah, so my bachelor's is in zoology. Then I changed into climate science and policy uh, for my master's, which I did from Terry School of Advanced Studies. So that, uh, that school or the university is specialized only for uh, sustainable development. So we, ha we had courses like in, from engineering, like sustainable engineering or urban development. And then I was part in the, like I was in the group which did on, worked on climate science and policy. So, so af after that, um, I worked in a couple of NGOs and from there actually my whole idea came into being of like why citizen science is required and how it can help in the sustainable development. Amazing. That's like quite the journey to get here, isn't it? It has been a journey. Okay, and the, the final bit about telling me about yourself, um, I think it's the most important question. Um, what's your favorite color? Either blue or red. What attracted you to the Stockholm Environment Institute in the first place? What made you apply? Uh, it was about the amount of work that they have done in this field. So they have a very good name and the quality of work. So they've done brilliant amount of work, like starting from the ideas, even like the planetary boundary concept, which was started by Rockstrom, who was one of the directors of SCI. So like ever since I've been a big fan of them following their work, and I thought, why not try out to be a PhD student there? <laughs> so I just applied. Did it live up to the expectation studying here? Till now, it's quite good. It's amazing. My uh, my supervisors are quite amazing. They have a lot of ideas. And yeah, it is quite up to the <laughs> thing that I, I have uh, thought of before coming here. It's quite nice. So what has your experience studying been like? Well, uh, in terms of, uh, because I started during the COVID period, so I've not met a lot of people, but uh, in terms of studying, it has been a, a good uh, experience. Um, well, I also come from India, so there are, there's a lot of difference between uh, our teaching uh, style and the one you have here. But the teachers are very you know, helpful. They give us a lot of ideas also, and they also listen to our ideas. So we can work a lot on this. So they actually help to grow a hybrid kind of idea which makes a lot of sense. So I think it's a very good experience here from the professors. So has most of your research been done virtually? Uh, it has been done virtually till now, but I hope like in a few days I'll go to the department. Yeah. How do you think the teaching has adapted to being online? Have you had a good experience with everything online? It's fine. Um, I, I don't know how the other people, uh, you know, other students experience because they might be from undergrads or postgrads, but as a PhD student, it's quite uh, easy to work virtually because it's mostly discussions and we don't have long classes. Mm. So, yeah, easy for us. Yeah. yeah. So looking back at the time that you have studied here, which from the science of things hasn't been very long, um, <clears throat> what has been the, the standout experience for you? So if you look back, what's the one thing that you're going to remember immediately? Um, the, uh, my supervisors helping out with, you know, giving out, like you can attend this kind of conferences or this kind of uh, summer schools or something like that. So this help would not have come anywhere else, but like where I have experience from, but here they have helped me a lot to get myself exposed to a lot of things, which I like. Yeah, that sounds really good. Um, 
So if you had to summarize the Stockholm Environment Institute and your experience in three words, what would they be? It's a very good learning experience. It's awesome. I would say it is awesome. Yeah. Three I was words. definitely over three words. <laughs> yeah, it is awesome. The three words. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I like that. Okay, so the final little thing we're going to do is uh, if you were talking to someone who is thinking about applying here, what would you say? Um, I would ask them if they, at first, it's very important for those people to have their uh, research interest in this area. And if they have, they should uh, directly approach the professors and the researchers here. So they are quite helpful and they quite, and uh, they reply back pretty quickly. So uh, I would say that if they have a research interest, they should definitely apply after talking with the professors. Definitely. Um, would you have any advice for them? Uh, yeah, they should have a very clear idea about what they're applying for. Mm. Not, not like clear as in like what they're going to do, but where they want to do their research and not be vague about it. And um, this will actually, this is the most important thing I have seen. Like I have actually talked to a number of people and the most important thing which I have seen is that they're very vague about what they want to do. So be clear about what they want to do. And this will help them to connect with the professor who is working on that certain uh, research area. That's really good advice. Thank you very much. That is all of the questions I have for you. Um, is there anything else you think is important for anyone watching these or anything else you'd just like to add? Uh, um, it's fine. I think your questions have covered a lot of things. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, if that's it, then I will let you get back on with your important PhD research. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.